one thing we have come to see as a huge, huge red flag in regards to former relationships is if someone tells us that they're jealous of us. We are a man who has had to work very, very hard to have some semblance of autonomy, structure, and peace in our life. Because of the minorities we fall into, we have been hated our entire life and essentially taught ourselves to love ourselves and to find our own sense of happiness. One thing we noticed the happier we got and the more we learned to love ourselves, there were people in our life who started to tell us that they were jealous of us and jealous of the happiness we started to build for ourselves from the ground up. And at the time, it felt gross, but we just sort of brushed it off or like, that's, that makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like that. At the time, my friends had told us they were jealous of us, two different ones who at the time were my best friends. I'm no longer in contact with this, these people and am very hap happily not in contact with these people. But um, it was just something we noticed was that's a red flag to us now because those people, the happier we got suddenly it was like, oh, well, you're not miserable, so your suffering and isn't legitimate, and you don't understand us, and suddenly us just not being constantly miserable is a threat to them, and I don't want to be around people who are jealous of us ever because we are someone who has had to fight very, very hard just to have self-love and self-respect, just to be a man who is able to have some semblance of normalcy in our lives. And as a disabled man, is someone telling me that is gross to me now because I didn't listen to that red flag. You never listen to the red flag the first time it rears its head. And I wish I had listened to that red flag because that in and of itself should have been the moment I took a step back and was like, whoa, this isn't healthy.